Just got my nails done and looking very pirate chic with my new shirt. I just like the color. Very fancy. Hi guys and welcome to a very random video of hauls, perfumes, scents, and most importantly makeup. I went shopping with a fellow YouTuber, Goldie Starling. She is like such a charming person. I cannot even tell you how much fun we had. We had lunch, it was great. We went shopping to, I call it Tim Burton Town, it's Burbank, California. They have this whole row of makeup stores and Halloween stores on Magnolia and it's just the best thing ever. So I bought a few things and I thought I would show you guys in a video so let's get started with the good things. First is my absolute favorite store, which is Halloween Town, where they have Halloween year-round. It's so big. They have three stores open now, all on the same street, kind of next to each other, and it was so, so much fun. I was hunting around looking at new prosthetics because they had this whole rack of ones I haven't seen there, and Angie suggested I try this one because I have always wanted to try the huge lip-injected lips. And I'm like, I could do something with this. I really want to do a makeup look by it. It would be so, so much fun. I just hope I don't ruin them. I'm going to look like I just suction cupped my face to a glass window. It's going to be great. Like a frog. And I got a can of not just any white spray paint. I got a can of the hair spray paint because I'm hoping I could spray some eyelashes white and just have like, I don't know, really white eyelashes. I just want to play around with different eyelash colors and eyeliner colors. I've been obsessed with eyeliner colors. And I think this will just like up my eye game. Does that make sense? And oh my goodness, so close to the Halloween town in Burbank, they have this store called Bearded Lady Vintage. It's one of my absolute favorite places. It's this house turned into like this little store cottage thing and they have a new section of really creepy taxidermy and creepy medical stuff and I just like looking through it and I want to take Bunny there, it'd be great. But they had this one thing there I really wanted and it is a bundle of sage. It looks like a baby artichoke. It's wrapped with blue and brown twine and you burn it and it helps cleanse your house. Does that make sense? People who are very spiritual or I just like the smell of it. It smells like kind of like cigar smoke. If cigar smoke was in a floral antique garden with like a botanical mix. I know it's really weird. If you don't know, I like candles that smell like sweets and men. Speaking of scents, they had this other store that I've never seen in my life across the street called Dark Delicacies and they have all the greatest gifts and books of really dark creepy things and they had these things that Angie just like introduced me to which are essential oils and they're kind of pricey. They're around 25 bucks a bottle but this one's called Coraline Jones by the movie Coraline and they're all themed. They even had the labyrinth and Angie got the labyrinth one I was like oh my goodness they're so good and it's like more natural oils. Did the thing dropper come off? No. Oh my goodness, this one. All of the Coraline ones smelled like chocolate, but very bad chocolate, and I just threw the cap across the room. But this one smells like very strong grandma floral, but with a hint of sweet and a little bit of musk. And I mean, it has Coraline on it, one of my all-time favorite movies, so I had to get it, and you just like dab it everywhere, and you smell nice. And then we didn't stop there. We found this vintage shop. I forgot the name of it, but there was this really older woman in there and she was super skinny and she just had like this raspy, cool, awesome voice and she had all these old vintage clothing and jewelry and I got clip-on earrings because if you guys know, my ears aren't pierced. I had them pierced twice, but they close up because every time I get an ear piercing, it gets infected and I can't handle the pain. And it's just a sad decision in life. So I got these really pretty, chandelier looking 1920 earrings and they're like teardrop with a little bit of like a chandelier flower clover thing at the tips and I cannot wait to wear these to some event. Someone invite me somewhere fancy. I'll find a dress to match these. It will be just such great stuff. And I got these other earrings that are like pink opal. I'm not into pink, but I have rings that match this and there's like little diamond studs in it. And they're just so pretty. I think these fancier ones was 17 bucks, but I mean they're vintage and these ones were 13. 
And speaking of vintage, I went to one of my absolute favorite stores I always wanted to go to and I always went there and it was closed and I would cry outside the store like legit tears and it's called Besame. Can you hear the angels singing? Look how beautiful this is. If you give me this for Christmas, it's just Christmas colors, the red and gold. I've talked about this company before. It's the greatest of things. It's the owner is studies all time period makeup. She has like old antique makeups that she color swatches, tests, studies. It's like the most beautiful, gorgeous shop you will ever visit in your entire life life and just look at this pack it has like it has like the little logos and the and the little flower things on the gold tissue and the gold on top of the red and you guys know red is one of my favorite colors specifically ones that are crimson and like blood light -like color it's oh, so good and I got so many things I just couldn't help myself and thank you so much to the person that was helping me in there who watches my videos I am so sorry I forgot your name and I want to punch myself in the face because you were so incredibly nice and I had such a great time and it wouldn't have been the same experience without you and Angie there. And I got the Besame lipstick palette. I couldn't choose which lipstick I wanted, so I got a packet of all five of the swatches. It's Merlot, Red Velvet, Hot Red, Cherry Red, Besame Red. They are very good cool tones to warmer tones. There's tones in here that matches any skin color. I could find a red probably in here that will go with almost anybody. Vintage Reds Pro Palettes. Yes, 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 please give it to me in my hands. It's just so, so nice. And to line the lips, I needed to get a lip pencil. Of course, of course, of course. I need to up my lip pencil game, but look at this packaging. I told you. The gold, there's two different colors. This one's cocoa. It's more of a red color, and this one is natural, and it's more of a natural skin tone with slight hints of pink in it. It is just great stuff, and this one will match more lip colors, and this red one will just go with so many things. Just look at this packaging. It is so beautiful and sleek and sophisticated. I feel richer than I am. And I need something to put on my cheeks, of course. I couldn't help it when I saw this little woman on top of the package. What? Look at her cheeks. Look at her face. Ah, oh, it's just so... Look, the artistry in the packaging, it looks like a pencil drawing, like some artist's hand drew this just for me on this package. Crimson Rose. What is included in here is an antique-looking piece of tin disc. If I could get it out, possibly anytime soon. And look at it's red with gold, of course. Crimson cream. It's a cream blush. Excuse me. I'm putting my fingers in this and not ruining it, but swatching it for you because I love you that much and I feel terrible because this is just too beautiful for words. I want to get a vintage beaded purse and just have it socially acceptable for me to have it as like a fanny pack situation maybe. Just an everyday fanciness. I'm telling you, I can't wait till I'm older and I get to wear floral moo-moos every day of my life and it'll be socially acceptable because if I do that now, they're gonna be like, um, what you doing, miss? All my clothing will look like Besame packaging. Very last thing from Besame and of the haul, unfortunately, is look at this little piece of beautiful packaging of cardboard and then inside is this little tiny kit of a red and gold and it's this cake brow eyeliner now this does not only go for brows it goes for eyeliner and mascara it's activated with water and you could do the consistency whatever you want it's a cross between a gel and a liquid and Oh, it's so so good. You know how sometimes gel eyeliner like skips on your eyelid? Well, they're telling me at Best Me this one will not do that. And I've seen so many makeup artists use this, and I was like, I need to get my hands on it. So I got brown because I thought, okay, you could put brown on your eyebrows, on your eyelids, on your eyelashes, and it'll be nice and more natural looking. And in case I did like black eyebrows, that would not look cute just yet, maybe. Smudge proof formula activated with water. Um, I'm so glad I got this. I've been looking forward to this. I cannot tell you since I began makeup school. And I finally got it. It's mine. What? Is this real life? Are you serious right now? I can't wait to smudge all the things on my face. So that was the very last end of my makeup haul of the creepy, awesome Halloween makeups and old timey, different type of era makeups. It was just such great different colors that I want to put on my face and I'm like, I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. A little look into what is out there and what's really good for the price that it is. I'm telling you, 
Those Besame colors, you're not going to find ones that similar to different times and eras. I'll try to find everything that I showed you in this video and I'll put the links down below. Let me know what I should do with these lip transfers, what type of makeup look you would want to see with this. Leave in the comments below. I would be so interested to hear. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me and watching today. I had so much incredibly fun. It's like double the fun. I get to hang out with YouTube friends in like with you guys, my best friends on the YouTubes. I wish I could hug you in person, of course, and I could take you, we could eat all the cupcakes and go do all the shopping in person. But this is the closest thing I could get. And I love you guys so incredibly much. I hope you know that. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!